We're broadcasting live from New Sin Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans, and the world capital of country music. Oh, I just love country music, Grim. Always some sweet song about a man's family or his dog. Or how he had sex with all of them. There's my smokes. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Baltimore Razors battle, the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. Huh? Huh? Second down in a very lot. And they run it for a couple of yards. Third down and ten. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get him. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Second down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Third down and, well, good luck. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Touchdown. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And 
It's first and ten. He is fighting for every yard. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and a lot. He took a beat boost injection. Now watch him. The man hit jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. Fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. He refuses to go down. It's about a three-yard pickup. And that'll bring up third and one. Running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback tight spark. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer Keska say. What, what the fuck 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 fuck? You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Holds him to a four yard pickup there. Second down in a mile. And he breaks away. Boom! Third down and long. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten.
That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Second down and more than the QB would like. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Third down and the punter is warming up. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. You can't keep a good mutant down. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third and four. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room and this guy couldn't hit the side of a fallout shelter the teams are lined up for the kickoff and that's a returnable ball returnable you mean he can get a refund for it no no bricks it means he can return it for you know what never mind Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Hot one, hot two, hot. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. Second down and five. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. First and ten. The defensive player is getting. Oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And that'll be second down and four. down and well good luck the offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection close your eyes bricks this is gonna get ugly fast oh what a punishing hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him and it's first and ten And 
And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And these guys are marching down the field unopposed. Man, the defense looks clueless out there. First down and three. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Hey, Bricks, you ever see me dancing like that? Please shoot me. Sure, you want it between the eyes or the back of the head? I still want to shoot him. I don't want to kill him all summer. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. You gotta be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil? First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And that'll bring up third and one. <laughs> this guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snag. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And that'll be second and eight to go. <laughs> and he picks up about six on the play. <laughs> And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Third and two. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? And he picks up two yards on the catch. And that'll be second and eight. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. and he misses the kick. Man, his teammates are going to flog him when he gets back to the sideline. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. Second 
second down and a lot. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. <laughs> and that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I fall. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you doing? Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Ho, oh, ho, ho. That gets me every time. Like a jack-in-the-box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I'm at it, anything really tastes good. Oh, that was a great throw and a great catch! Yeah, but... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First and ten. And the defense jumps off sides trying to mutilate. You know, in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. to go down and that's the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five on that play second down and five Warming up. Oh, nice hit. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. Still might be bricks, but crazy works in the MFL sometimes. Other times, it just comes back with a shotgun. No, oh, what a great defensive play that was, bricks. Kind of like your aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit! Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Second down and six. 
And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. You got to be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize those two. Hey, don't get these reps any ideas, you idiot. Crap, you know, I just dash. All right. Second down, and the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. up nine yards on that catch. Third down and never going to happen. You've got to catch that. I want Sean Kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was tripod. And it's good. You know, when, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good. Huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stomping it right there. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah. That's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Friends. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. the ball into the defense picking up seven second and three Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing.
First and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second down and six. That ball was almost intercepted. Third down and six. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the And he's got a, oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. It must be opposite, day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Second down and five. <laughs> Run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Hot one. Hot. He runs it for three. Third down and eight. First and ten. Second down in a lot. You can tell he's a berserker because he's dropping at the mouth. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. Close, but no cigar. And it's first and ten. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. Ain't so big at the last time. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Yeah. <laughs>
And these guys been kicking us for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grant. Yeah, bigger than yours. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. Yeah, you got blown this shit. Speaking of blow, where's my little mile? The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Caught for the first down. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I don't think the funeral expenses that is. First and ten. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. And it's first and ten. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my offseason. The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout, so they better bring the ball back gift-wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a bow, Grim? Maybe if they use their last timeout. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents. The defense calls their last timeout. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Bricks? Eh, just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? Drugs. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback. Just like that. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And the defense gives up five yards there. <laughs> Second down and five. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> oh. 
straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And like a monkey trying to fuck a crazy football, he gets away in a hurry. And the Nashville Lycans lose at home. I'd say there's a sad country song about to be sung. Yeah, you know, with self-driving AI, we'll get a country song where the guy's pickup truck leaves him too. And let's go down the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotrophism. See that, little baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it. Grim <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not.